Hi, I'm Stephanie Buffman, editor of the Gladwin County Record and Beaverton Clarion, and I am here with Beaverton mayoral candidate, Matt Lang. How are you? Good, Stephanie. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for inviting me here. Appreciate no it. No problem. So, how long have you lived in Beaverton? I have been a Beaverton resident for my entire life. Um, I did spend some time away at school over at Central, but decided uh, to plant my roots and settle down here in town. So tell me about your family and growing up here in Beaverton. Uh, well, I'm sure a lot of people in the community are familiar with my family. Uh, Bruce and Carrie Lang are my parents, been entrepreneurs, as well as some cousins. You see the family name around town quite a bit. Um, and then, of course, I married a brew baker, so the family tree Brewing got brew. huge. So, um, you know, everyday common family, hardworking people. Um, I have two siblings, both still live in the Beaverton area. So, pretty tight-knit family all around here, so. What made you want to run for mayor? Well, you know, I, I truly have a, a deep-seated um, connection to town. Uh, part of the reason why my wife and I decided to stay here. I mean, we could have went anywhere in the world, and we decided we wanted to stay here. A lot of that is due to the people, you know, like I've said in uh, the press, caring neighbors, proud business owners, a lot of loyalty in this town. And it's a place that we want to raise a family. We want to be here. This is where we were both raised. And we attribute this town, this area, the people in this town to the reason we are the people that we are. So that's something that we want for our children as well. So. What's the very best thing about living in this town? You know, there's a lot of good things about this town. Um, it's almost difficult to put it down to one thing, but Beaverton has a ton of small, quirky traditions that a lot of people know about. We all like them. They're fun. Um, you know, the other thing, too, is we have a sense of, of resiliency in this town. No matter what gets thrown our way, which the last few years there have been some things that have come up that have been unpleasant. There's been good times, bad, but we always find a way to get through it, and everybody keeps their head up. So it's it's good that we have that mentality that um, you know we can bend and not break, and I really do admire that about our town. What would you say to a voter going to the poll to convince them to cast their ballot for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm fortunate that I've been on city council now, so. I do have an understanding of our local government. I do have a lot of involvement throughout town. So when it comes to networking and resources, whether it's SBC, Beerton Area Business Association, uh, Michigan Works, lots of different agencies that allow me to provide knowledge and resources um, that I think will help a mayor succeed in making this a better place to live. There are things we do very well as a city. There are things we don't do as well. There are things that I think could use some attention um, that have been possibly neglected over the past few years for many different reasons. It, it may not be personal, you know, things get overlooked. What I bring is a new set of eyes, a fresh outlook, and some ideas that may not have been explored before. So. You know, that's, I'm a younger person, I do have uh, some different methods, some different routes, but in the end, you know, deep down, I know, for the most part, what works for this town. Whether it's older people, younger people, you know, I think I have a good sense of what works for this town and what the people want, because I mean, that's what it really is. I am a representative of the people to City Hall. I'm not a representative of City Hall to the people, so that's, you know, in the end, that's what it's all about. Very good. Matt Lang, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. You're very it. welcome and good luck. Thank you.